excited tonight heading over towards the VNA because I was going, there are so many great people here who just fundamentally believe that museums and art are doing a good job. Even in the shortlist, museums are raised up that aren't seen. So it's so exciting. All the judges are, you know, lively people with you know interesting jobs who are used to making Some decisions. Some of us talk more than others. Yeah, but exactly, and <laughs> I keep being interrupted by one fine example. But the serious and surprising thing is none of us slept last night. No, we didn't. Because we were, we were really so worried, worried about really making nervous. a really great decision. Our journey started in early May when we travelled to uh, Scotland for the Glasgow Women's Library and wow, we were so impressed by on the one hand the campaigning and radical mentality of the place combined with this wonderful warm and witty and humorous atmosphere. Then we headed to Hull and the fantastic Ferrans. We saw the heights that that gallery scaled in 2017 and again incredibly impressive. Uh, then the Postal Museum in London. We'll never forget our wonderful trip on the underground mail train. Then earlier this month it was off to Cornwall to take St Ives where we saw the really clever addition to the gallery there designed by Jamie Fober. It's really transformed the space there and working in such close collaboration with the local community again we were really really impressed and last but by no means least it's Brooklands we were again so impressed with the passion and the professionalism of the enthusiasts there and let's be honest Concord and vintage Bentleys what's not to like the winner of the Art Farm Museum of the Year 2018 is Tate St. I am particularly delighted to accept this on behalf of everyone from Tate's and Ives and I think actually all of Cornwall. I think the fact that we're able to be more responsive in relation to our public and in relation to artist projects and, and is a huge testament to that. And it's important to celebrate people who really believe in something and it's something that we ought to be all in touch with which is our culture. Yeah.